Okay, so I'm gonna try to blow through this because I'm having some uh, people give me their time. So uh, basically, this is the application part of what I was talking about. So the first thing I wanna show is how Kung Fu usually does their drills and boxing does the same thing and everything else. So the idea is this, so if he steps here, and he throws a jab and kind of weaves his arm out here for boxing. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay. For Kung Fu, he throws a jab and then he stops there and like do this. Boom, boom, boom. All right. This is a drill. And the biggest issue with this is that he's stopping here and he's letting me do my movement. No matter how fast or hard I do this, it's not going to be sparring because there's no element of resistance, there's no distance, and there's no movement. The first thing that you want to understand when you spar is you want to have a reason for sparring. There are three main reasons that I'm going to want to spar according to my personal belief system. The first is distance. Now when we first start sparring, if we kind of light spar a little bit here, you'll notice something. When, if I'm a beginner, a lot of times when I first start sparring and I try to hit him, I'm going to miss, even if he were to stand there because I just misjudged the distance. So here's how this would work. And this will happen a lot of times. <laughs> because I'm just not distancing correctly, okay? You can see this also, if he puts his hand up here, or actually I'll do this to him, he's gonna jab this, okay? And he's hitting it, this is how you work mitts. Now in real life, this is what he would wanna train. He goes, you see how he's not hitting it because I'm moving it away? A real person is gonna be moving backwards and moving to the side, so if he does that drill, and he puts his mitt up for me to hit, and takes it away, I wanna hear that connection. I'm judging the distance accurately and hitting it, okay? That's distance. The next thing is resistance. If he throws a jab straight here and I come here, I'm gonna get hit because I'm not accounting for this other move here. So I'm gonna have to adjust my technique to what he's doing. That's what you wanna do when you spar. I wanna work against a resisting, uncooperative opponent. So when drilling, he's gonna do one or two moves. I know which is coming, where it's coming, and then I'm just working a specific technique. In sparring, he's not cooperating. So his job is to make my job as difficult as possible. And I can do that very lightly. I don't have to go super hard. So even if it's like this light here, as long as there's resistance, it's fine. So I'll show an example of that with boxing. So if we're moving here, this is about it. He's blocking, he's moving, if he tries to hit me, I'm moving away. Notice that I'm connecting when I hit. He's connecting when he hits me. So if I don't block it or I don't move out of the way, he's gonna connect. That's gonna tell me that I was incorrect in my just uh, judging distance. So that's something you wanna know. Okay? So again, he's not cooperating with me, I'm not cooperating with him. If I want to grab his head and pull it into a punch, he's not going to let me do that. If I grab his head, he's going to yank away. Exactly, which opens up combos. That's what I want to train to do. Now, how do you use Kung Fu in this minute? Let's take that same concept. He throws a, a jab straight, and I come here, and I trap here and move in, and I adjust. Okay? So I'm going to use the same techniques. And as long as we can go very light, but as long as there's resistance and he's not cooperating with me, it becomes much closer to sparring, okay? So this is how this works. So he's just gonna box or whatever and ignore whatever I'm doing. He's not concerned about helping me. He's trying to land his combo. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. Okay? And notice what we're not doing. If we were bare knuckle, which is what a lot of Kung Fu guys spar when they look like, it would look like this. Very sloppy, very weird kind of patty cake thing. Because people, though obviously when you get actually get hit bare knuckle, it hurts and everybody apologizes. So we're whack, 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 bang, he hits me, oh I'm sorry. I don't want to apologize every time I tap. That's the point of it. That's why we're going light. So we're going very light, but we're still using oh. technique. And he's not concerned about me. Let's say he wants to throw a five punch combo. It's my job to deal with each one and not complain about he's not freezing and standing there for me. So we'll go ahead and do a full light spar. He can kick, he can punch, he can take down, he can do anything. Look how light this is. But notice that as I try to hit him multiple times, he moves. He doesn't let me hit it. So here we go. that he punched me in the face. I didn't block. That's what should happen. But it's very light. I'm fine. I don't even have a mouth guard in and I'm good. That's what I meant by you can spar light as long as there's resistance. And that's what creates the effect. So distance, he's moving. Resistance, he's not cooperating with my techniques. And he's pressuring me by throwing more than one punch. If you can add those elements in, that's what you're going to gain benefit out of sparring, whether it's kung fu, boxing, or anything else. That's what I was talking about. So thank you guys very much. Have a great day.